the Burnley Abattoir site is a really interesting place in Richmond that has a long and complicated kind of history. Back in the 19th century, around 1865, the site was opened as an abattoir. And in the 19th century, a lot of inner city suburbs had their own abattoir. Later, they would have their own um, electricity works. Often, they would have their own brickworks. And a lot of these industrial sites from the 19th century, eventually, through the 20th century, fell vacant. They became abandoned buildings. And in the shells of these buildings, often some really creative activities happened. From the mid-1980s, graffiti was arriving in Melbourne from New York and graffiti writers were embracing these new forms of expression and looking for spaces in which to practice their skills. And the abattoirs became um, an early site for graffiti culture. It became a kind of a hall of fame where graffiti writers could practice for hours on end. Um, they weren't interrupted by the police or members of the public. They had an opportunity to really focus on the style and the skills of graffiti. One of the interesting things that happened in that site was the quality of the artwork that was produced. There was a lot of blank walls, there was a lot of interesting spaces to respond to, and the graffiti at the time, big, highly ornamentalized murals, very colorful, lots of detail, in a way looked like they were responding to the abattoir site itself. Many of them look like they're made up of the kind of broken glass that we see scattered around on the floor. The pipes and the broken brickwork also seems to relate to the kind of shapes um, and the twisted letters that were part of graffiti culture at the time.